Hey everyone, how you doing? I wanted to do a short video of me ranting on Function Prototype. I had it in a different video and I decided to completely remove it and put it in its own video. It's something I think is important, but also something most people probably don't know. And the real problem about all of this is that it's how people make decisions on how to write code based on benchmarks that really don't have anything to do with their day-to-day. -day. In fact, the benchmarks could be wrong or completely irrelevant and you're still gonna write your code completely differently to accommodate that. I remember a long time ago, I actually put strings into an array and did the dot join on that array instead of doing the plus operator at the time. The reason I did this was because I heard it was faster in IE7. Now that might be the case, but me trying to performance optimize a string concatenation in IE7 ended up making me write terrible, terrible code until I finally realized, oh, this looks awful. Nobody understands what's going on here. And it's just not fun to read. It was also difficult to edit. And people looked at me like, what are you doing? Like, what? That's it's crazy. And it was crazy, but I thought it was a performance enhancement and it was based on nothing. Now let's watch the video I actually recorded or the middle of the video where I actually recorded myself ranting on function prototype. The difference here is that function prototype is actually the base used by any function in JavaScript. You'll see a stack overflow thread about saying, don't use function prototype, always create new no op functions because they're faster. This is that article. Although it has this benchmark down here that runs <laughs> not in separate processes, but all at once. And it says, bottom line, although function prototype is an elegant way of expressing a no op in JavaScript, there may be performance issues related to its use. Performance issues. Hmm. I want to make it clear how this person did their testing. You do not run everything one after the other. V8 does optimizations. V8, the engine that Node runs on, Chrome runs on, and other browsers. If you run them like this, V8 will be doing optimizations so that if you change the order of this and this, you will get completely different results. Here's another one. It says the most concise and performant no-op is an empty error function. That is wrong. This guy's talking about this being 87% faster than function prototype. If you look at this testing that was done, all you have to do is swap the order of iterations. See how he does no op and then no op proto? He does them in a certain order. V8 optimizes it in a certain way, and then it makes the other one look slow. If I swap these two right here, then I get completely different results. In fact, it ends up looking like the prototype function is faster. I wonder why. Do not do benchmarks this way. Your benchmarks have to be separate. You have to have one function that gets called on this and then run another instance that then runs on this. And then you run those 10 times and you take the median. That's the best way to get the most accurate performance numbers. Here's my response. There is actually no problem with or performance penalty using function prototype. The other thing about this is that guy was doing 10 million iterations. I don't have 10 million of anything in any of my code bases. Doing 10 million iterations of function prototype is not realistic. For the most giant app I could think of, a thousand is probably the most function prototypes I'll ever come across. And they'll never be one after the other. They'll be all over the code base, sprinkled around everywhere. I noted that the benchmarks from others are misleading. Here's an article I wrote after reading this Stack Overflow about that very topic. Notice that with that guy's functionality, if you run them with 10 million iterations in this order, you will find out that the function prototype looks really slow. But... If you run them in the opposite order, the function prototype ends up looking not so slow in comparison. Now, 10 million iterations is not something I do very often. In fact, I don't even really have a thousand of anything in my application, let alone hundred. None of this performance should be important at all. The only reason there were 10 million iterations is because you can't get a high enough number to really make a comparison because it doesn't matter. And if I run them separately, this is what I get instead. So it still looks like this is faster than this, right? over 10 million iterations with V8 running its optimizations. The important thing to note is that when I do a thousand iterations, function prototype comes ahead. That's the most important piece of all of this. If you have a few iterations, V8 can't do its super optimizations and you end up finding that the function prototype is actually faster. Typically in your applications, you're not creating no op functions 10 million times. You're creating them here and there or even once. With function prototype, you're also just creating it on the fly, just like this. It's not slower. Don't worry about it. That's a micro optimization, 
which you're probably doing wrong. 